Hello everyone and welcome to Vintage Uprising, Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to share all of my Halloween and fall finds from my thrifting. I'm participating in the Halloween Thrift or Treat collaborations hosted by Chapter 2 Vintage Company. Here is a, I love this one, and I'm probably going to keep it. It's a blow mode that I found at Round Top, Antiques Week. And then these two I found at a Goodwill. This went out in West Texas on our travels to go when we went to a family reunion. And this one also was from Goodwill. I love this one. It's really tall. And that one is not old, but got him at the Goodwill, so I just added him in my collection here, and he's a big one. Got this Blomo Witch from Round Top. And then this one was a great find. I think I paid uh, like $3 or something um, from an estate sale. And this one too was from Round Top. These three from Round Top, and this one, and then that one was $50 total for all three, which was probably a really good deal. And then this one. And it has its light. Um, I can't remember if I got him from an estate sale, but he was, oh no, a barn find. Two bucks. Two bucks for this big one. Found him in a barn sale. That was a great find. Fall piece. There's a door hanging of a pumpkin with the greenery on it, the fall leaves, which is really pretty. I got it from the Goodwill, $4.99. I wasn't real pleased about it, but it was at the beginning when I was hunting for things, so. And then I have these little town set, a haunted tree. If you can really see it. And it works. It lights up. This one makes noises. Like thunder. Really cute. I don't know exactly how old it is. Couldn't find a date. But. The bats light up. The pumpkins light up. But it's really cute. Some fabric jack-o'-lanterns could be used for fall as well. This one was from Goodwill for 99 cents. This one was from an estate sale. It looks like he's had something glued there, probably a bow or something. And this looks to be handmade. It, I think it was from Goodwill. No price tag on it. I got this one and this one from Round Tops Antiques Week, and they were four dollars, but they were half off. So I got those each for two bucks a piece. And although some of these might not be very vintage, but great for fall and my Halloween decor. And these I got from Goodwill. They're pumpkin and spiders. Wall, the tinsel wall decorations. They were from the Goodwill. They were a dollar a piece. I'm sure they're not vintage, but they were there. They were available. So I grabbed them. They're still cute. 
then found these. Happy Boo Day. And a which is a tin witch, which is a flower pot or, you know, that you would hang on your door, I guess. But I thought it was real cute. Two is also probably not old, but they were cute. These were all from the Goodwill. This is actually from West Texas Goodwill on our travels for a family reunion. It was a uh, 59 cents, so I picked that up. And then these cute candy dishes that match, and they were from two different Goodwills just so happen they match. $2.99 and 99 cents. But candy corn dishes, very cute. And got this candy mold. I guess you make either pumpkin cookies or pumpkin candy from that. It's a Wilson pan. Got it for $2.99. I'm don't know if it's vintage or not. Nope. Uh, well, yeah. 1985. So, yeah, I guess it is vintage. Here I got a couple of things. I got these two items from Round Top. This adorable trick-or-treat bag. It was $5, but I just loved it. Embroidery to appliques on there really nice and this I'm sure wasn't vintage either but it's a cute picture and it was only three dollars so I thought I'd go ahead and pick that up why not I may put that in my booth some of these bigger items will go in my booth that I'm not going to be able to ship little kitty cat on a pumpkin I thought he was cute Got it from Goodwill for $1.99, but it's still cute. Well, here we got some scary and some cutesies. Got this rubber bat. He was 99 cents. I thought perfect for Halloween, right? That's what he was made for, but he's a sturdy plastic uh, rubber hang him from the ceiling or something get some attention and then I got this spooky doll she's a dollar but yeah I thought she was fitting for Halloween and this mannequin styrofoam mannequin head that they use at the for your wigs very vintage and then this scarecrow with a red beady eyes on top but yeah i thought that was a could be a cool halloween decoration somewhere somehow and then i got these doll pieces from canton i mean i'm not canton i'm sorry round top from round top which you can find anything there yeah that looks like it'd be a good halloween decoration and then Two legs, two arms, all here. Oh, it's here. And then on our cutesy side, I got this orange bear with a vampire cape. A little plush toy. Very cute. And then, uh, y'all know who these are. I don't know how old they are. I haven't looked yet, looked them up or anything. Got the, found the spider and the little ghost. So, perfect to set up for Halloween. A little non-scary. And here, I have this ghost and pumpkin sign. Definitely vintage. Got it at Round Top. It's a wood sign. Very nice. And I got it for a dollar. I thought that was a very good deal. So excited to find it thought he was cute and then 
Got these at the Goodwill out in West Texas somewhere. These little pine cone witches. They're fun, cute. Got this one also in West Texas. A little wooden box that somebody made. It was $2.99, um, I guess for candy. It's painted all the way around. Thought she was really cute. I got this adorable bat purse. And I'm sure one of my granddaughters are just going to want this. It was $2.99 at the Goodwill. I love it. And then I got this bag of Halloween flashlights. Um, four. I may end up keeping these for my grandchildren. Because I have four grandchildren and one on the way. But that one won't be here in time for Halloween. But these would be very cute for all four of them to have. Found this vintage sheet. And is Halloween colors. I had to put this, add this to the group. I thought that was pretty cool. I actually haven't seen a sheet like this before. And I got this pillowcase dress already made. I got it from Goodwill with little spiders on it and black and white trim. I thought this was adorable. And then this jack-o'-lantern takes batteries. He was 99 cents from the Goodwill. I haven't tried him yet. I don't know if he works or not. It's one of those plastic melty things. I don't even, I don't know how old it is, but he was cute and he was Halloween-y. And then this ceramic Halloween, he's kind of heavy. I assume he had a top, but it wasn't there. I got him for $1.99 at Goodwill, a ceramic and put a candle in him. He was cute. I have this, another ceramic, a dressier with a nice glaze on it for fall that can stick out all through the holidays there. And it was from the Goodwill up in West Texas. I paid $2.99 for it. It's nice. Then I have this ceramic ghost with a pumpkin head. He was from West Texas Goodwill. Um, 59 cents he was. Really cute. This wicked old lady. She's not a salt and pepper. I guess she's just a figurine. She was 59 cents. That was from the West Texas but she's cute. Got a bag of spiders with the, are they rings? Yeah, they're spider rings with the yellow stone as a body. So why not? And this is definitely vintage. Got him from West Texas. He was 99 cents. It's a candle, already been burned, but I still had to get him just too cute. And now some of my favorite finds are these plastic melted popcorn uh, from the 70s, I think. I think I paid $5 a piece for these and I just love them. Here's the ghost. Here's the pumpkin. And here's the witch. I just love those. 